All right, guys, today we are in Oak Park Heights, Minnesota. We drove almost four hours to get here to go to that Spirit Halloween right back there, specifically because the address is Kruger Lane. No, I'm not even kidding, guys. This Spirit Halloween right here is on Kruger Lane. That means that Freddy Krueger just might live here. Okay, I'm excited. Let's go in and see exactly what makes this store worthy of being located on Kruger Lane. Here we go. Holy crap, I'm loving the looks of this place already. Oh, by the way, this used to be a Pier 1 Imports. Look at the ceiling. Anyway, here's the bog zombie. <laughs> Here he goes. I thought for a minute that he wasn't going to talk to us. Mr. Bog Zombie, have you seen Freddy Krueger anywhere? Lord Farquaad, have you seen Freddy anywhere in here? Mr. Grimm, have you seen Freddy in here? How about you, Monty? Have you seen Freddy Krueger anywhere in here? Hmm. I don't have my translator with me, so I'll take that as a yes. Thank you for the inside information, Monty. Maybe this lonely fellow knows. Have you seen Freddy? Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's more folks in here who might know. How about this shaggy-headed guy? <laughs> ah, the laugh treatment. All right, all right. Wait till you want to know something, buddy. How about you, Mr. Hanging in a Cage? Have you seen Freddy? Look at this. He's just sitting perfectly still. <laughs> He's growling. That's like all he's doing, just sitting there perfectly still and growling at me. Have you seen Freddy? Have you seen Freddy? Have you, you, or you seen Freddy? I know he's in here somewhere. He can't hide forever. Have you seen Freddy? I'm Batman. I know you've seen Freddy. And especially you. Would you even tell me if you have? Fine, you keep your secrets. How about you, Mr. Rat? Or you, Chicken Bones? Is Freddy in here? Let's ask Lil Skelly Bones. Come on, mister. Are you gonna talk? Oh, he's gonna talk. He's gonna talk, hold on. Oh, holy crap! I'm so sorry, little guy. He hit his head on the bar. He wouldn't be able to remember if he did see Freddy because now he has a brain injury. How about this guy? This guy? This guy. Okay, that's strange. They have this hooked up to Bubba and you have to come way over here to flip it. So watch this. You flip it way over here and then he jumps out of the doghouse way over here, so it totally kills the scare factor. By the way, have you seen Freddy? Mr. Dark, have you seen Freddy? What the heck? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Look at this. While I was looking for Freddy, I found these guys. Where's the other guy? There oh, there's three. I knew there was three of them. Hold on now. Did you guys know that the address of this store is Kruger Lane? Ooh, have you seen Freddy in here? No? I know he's in here somewhere. Those guys haven't seen Freddy either. What the heck? How about you, Mr. Bottomless? While you were in the boiler room, did you see Freddy? None of these guys want to spill the beans. Maybe Nozzles. He does have Nozzles on his hands from the boiler room. Nozzles? Nozzles. He's giving the silent treatment too. Bouncy Sam, have you seen Freddy? Have you seen Freddy? Have you seen Freddy? Have you seen Freddy? You would think he would be somewhere around these boiling death tubes since he lives in the boiler room. All right, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just got a tip that Freddy just might be this way. Right over here, holy crap. We have officially 
found Freddy on Kruger Lane. And now we're gonna look at everything Freddy in this Spirit Halloween. It begins right here with Freddy's own corner in the store. And then I know there's a whole bunch of other stuff around the store that I actually have seen. I was just kind of playing, but let's start with the Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4 Dream Master Freddy Krueger mask. I've told you guys a million times I love this mask. It's my favorite Freddy Krueger mask, not my favorite Freddy Krueger movie. Probably, probably my second favorite Freddy movie, Dream Master. My favorite is the first, but this is my favorite mask by far. There's usually three different Freddy masks in this location here. This is the second one right here. It's that one that I talked about before that's like a plastic, and the edges are actually kind of sharp. So if you put this on your face, you're gonna get like scratched. Scratched by Freddy, there's a concept. And then there's another Freddy mask that's sort of like this one, but it's just a basic Freddy mask. I think we'll find that later on when we go to the mask section of this store. But let's look at some other things here. Look at this. We have the Miss Freddy Krueger sweater. That is actually pretty cool. Then over here we have the Mr. Freddy Krueger sweater. We have the Freddy Krueger sweater dress. I actually really like this. The first time I saw it, I did not like it. I was like, what the heck are you trying to do to Freddy Krueger? But the more I look at this, the more I like it. We have the Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy hat. Look at this, it's the red and green. And guys, I gotta say, it would perfectly top off this video if I were wearing my Freddy Krueger shirt, but I had to wear Michael Myers because the Freddy one I've worn in like two or three stores, so it's dirty. And if you guys remember, I bought the Freddy Krueger Vans last year that are this same color and they're totally awesome. Since I'm on the road traveling, I accidentally left them at home, so I had to wear my Fruity Pebbles. Yeah, those are legit Fruity Pebbles on my shoes. Anyways, back to Freddy. So we have the Nightmare on Elm Street fedora that Freddy wears. You can see it in this picture right here. And then we have a Nightmare on Elm Street cosmetic kit. It has like crayons and gel blood and a little sponge to put the makeup on. We have the Nightmare on Elm Street socks. Does this have Freddy's face on it? I guess not. It's just red and green striped. And it has the Elm Street sign in there. If I can get it out here for you to see right there. And then it looks like it has scratches on it from his Freddy knives. We have Nightmare on Elm Street press-on nail chips. Look at those. Those are actually pretty cool. Red and green, Freddy's glove, Freddy's face. And then this one says come to freddy <laughs> and then the last thing in this section are three different kinds of freddy gloves we have the basic freddy glove here that we looked at the other day actually we've looked at these a lot of times but i love them so much we're going to keep on looking at them this is just a basic glove and it has very soft bendable blades on it so nobody can get hurt then over here this one takes a step up these are bigger harder plastic blades that is a really good looking glove i really like that one for a costume and then this one down here is the deluxe nightmare on elm street freddy glove this one actually has metal blades so you do not want to put this on and go chasing your brother or sister around the house this one is strictly to set up in your office or in your bedroom and say hey look I got an awesome Freddy glove. We're gonna leave Freddy some stickers here, and then we're gonna move on and see what else Freddy we can find in this whole store. I am pretty sure there is a Freddy shirt over here. Um, yeah, right here, the Dreamer. Freddy, Elm Street sign right up there that he's standing under, and I love the way he's standing there with a slight bend. That is so creepy. And they actually have a bunch of those in stock, unlike the Scream shirt that we're all looking for right here and we can't find. Actually, I found it in one other store, but I think you've seen that video already. Okay, let's take a look at these middle displays here, because these usually have some Freddy stuff on them. Let's see, we got Sam, Friday the 13th, Halloween. Oh, sweet! We have a sweet Halloween knife. Look at this, here's the Elm Street sign. That is really cool. All right, let's see if there's something on this side here. They have these door covers. This one is Ghostface. I don't think I've seen one with Freddy on it yet, but maybe we'll find one in this store. You never know. Oh, look over here. It's not a door cover, but it is a 
tea towel. Holy crap, they could have just called it a kitchen towel. But it is Freddy's glove, so there's another piece of Freddy. Look at this, red and green just like his sweater. That is actually pretty cool. I might have to get this and have some tea. All right, let's see, this is Pennywise stuff here. Let's keep on moving. We got Friday the 13th, Halloween, uh, a bunch of Sam and Chucky stuff. Michael Myers here. I did see a picture like this in one of the other stores that was Freddy, but I don't see it in here. Let's keep on looking. I don't think I've seen a Freddy lunchbox, although that would be sweet. Oh, here we go. We do have the Freddy Krueger mug. I would get this and have hot chocolate in it. Look, the handle is green and red striped like a sweater, and that face is so creepy. I don't see any Freddy doormats. This is a pretty cool uh, Michael Myers Halloween one, though. And I don't see any other Freddy mugs over here. Let's go ahead and look on this side. Oh, there's nothing over here. Okay. I'll bet you anything they have some Freddy socks if we look close enough. Yep, right here. Nightmare on Elm Street. Right there in front of us. Freddy's face. Never sleep again, it says. And the socks are red and green striped, just like his sweater. Here's the fleece throw blankets. Let's take a look at these and see if they have anything Freddy. I honestly don't remember if I've seen a Freddy blanket. Oh yeah, here we go. Right here, Nightmare on Elm Street, super plush throw. Look at this. It says all kinds of awesome things on it. Having nightmares, don't fall asleep. You're mine now, piggy. <laughs> what the heck? Welcome to my nightmare. And that is also green and red striped, just like Freddy's sweater. All right, let's come back here and look at these masks. And yep, here we go. They have the other one I was talking about. Here it is right here. See, it's a little thinner. It's not as good a quality as the number four mask. Um, it's pretty cool. It's just a basic Freddy mask. A little bit cheaper than the part four mask. This one's 25. I think the other one is like 60. Look at this, guys. They have the Frankenstein Sidestepper, where we're starting to see these in more stores. Wouldn't it be sweet if they had a Freddy Krueger Sidestepper? I'd buy that thing in a second. Or a Freddy talking doll. Look at this. They have Eerie Emma, Decrepit Donna, Creepy Baby Doll, Pumpkin Nestor, and Sam. You know who I haven't seen in stores this season yet? I have not seen the talking Crouchy doll in any stores yet. But I have seen plenty of these fine fellows. Wait a minute. This is the first time I've seen this guy in a store this season. Handstand Larry? I actually don't know if I've ever seen him in a store before. Guys, I am so way super excited by this guy. I almost forgot we're looking for Freddy. And I'm honestly not sure if we're gonna find anything else. I don't recall that I've seen any Freddy stuff like typically in these setups throughout the store. This is all, um, you know, like Ouija and witch stuff over here. And then they typically have Nightmare Before Christmas here and here. Beetlejuice up ahead here. Haunted Mansion over here. Yeah, this is all uh, Hocus Pocus stuff here. You know, there is one place that I think I've seen Freddy stuff, and that would be through the store up to the front up here. Crap, I almost knocked that over. Yes, this little stuff up here. Look at this. It's a Freddy snow globe right here. All right, let's see what else we can find that has to do with Freddy in the little place where you go through to pay because I know there's more. Is there a Freddy magnet or sticker? I can't believe it, but I don't see one. I see Michael Myers. I see Hocus Pocus and Gremlins, Corpse Bride. I don't see any Freddy. Wait a minute, over here, maybe, let's see. Okay, is there, remember I bought this one year and I put it on the back of my old car, the old B? Let's see, this is amazing. I'm not seeing any Freddy magnets or stickers. Oh, here we go, it's the Freddy Solar Bobblehead. Put him out, he collects power from the sun and he sits there and bobbles his head all day long. All right, let's see, is there a Freddy shot glass. I see zero up there. That's pretty cool. That almost looks like a popcorn bucket for mini popcorn. <laughs> All right, let's see. Is that Freddy? Yep, right here. Here we go. Freddy shot glass. I can't get it out because it's stuck, but there is Freddy on that little shot glass. 
They have these cups here too, and I am pretty sure I've seen a Freddy, yeah, here, right here. Here's a Freddy cup, Freddy tumbler. Ready or not, here I come. And there he is, Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy. Red and green striped, just like his sweater. Then we got all this little stuff over here. It's like lanyards and keychains. Um, okay, right here, Elm Street Neighborhood Watch. There's Freddy. Let's see, are there any other Freddy things? Lanyards or anything? Ugh. Unless I'm missing them, I don't see any more. Freddy trick-or-treat bags, maybe? Let's see. Uh, nope, we got Chucky, we got Oogie Boogie, Trick or Treat Sam, Nightmare Before Christmas, Friday the 13th, but I don't see Freddy. It seems to me that they had Freddy candy in some of the other stores, like these things right here, the little mints, or the sour candy, but I don't see any in here. They do have all these mystery bag clips, and I believe there is one kind you can get that has... Uh, like Freddy in it. Yep, in fact, here he is right here. Chills and thrills. There's the little plush Freddy right there. Thing is, you have to buy all of these and not know what's in it in order to try to find Freddy. Hmm. I'll take them all. All right, guys, that is pretty much it for the Spirit Halloween on Kruger Lane. We found everything that they had that had to do with Freddy in there. And I did buy all those blind bags. So hopefully I will find a mini plush Freddy Krueger bag clip. <laughs>